Hi, this is Randy Rolfe from the Institute for Creative Solutions, sharing foundational concepts about vibrant health through natural living. And I haven't posted in a little while because I've been working on a new project, which is going to be a full length course on the four humors. And I think uh, many of you know that I've been studying the four humors for gosh, almost 40 years. And uh, I've developed many, many uh, breathtaking and groundbreaking solutions for people who just find that the typical cookie cutter diet just doesn't work for them. The fitness plan doesn't really work for them. Uh, they get irritable. They don't have the energy they need. Uh, they feel deprived. They feel like they're losing control of their own life and they just don't like it. And even if they succeed, it doesn't stick because it's not getting to the real cause of their uh, weight problem or health problem or imbalance in their moods. So um, today I want to delve a little bit into holiday recommendations for the basic four humors. So uh, here are some of the suggestions to keep yourself comfortable and content during the holiday season. For all four of the humors, don't eat late at night. Digestion slows down at night, so if you eat late at night, you're gonna be sluggish in the morning and not ready to eat the right kind of breakfast. Your sleep will be inhibited, you'll toss and turn, and uh, you won't get things fully digested. So don't eat late at night. If you're drinking alcohol, after effects are basically due to dehydration and nutrition depletion certain minerals and vitamins. So make sure you drink plenty of water, like if you have a glass of wine, have a glass of water as well. And be sure and take B vitamin supplements, and especially the minerals, magnesium and calcium. Uh, the melancholic humor is most likely to overdo wine and beer, and the cholelic, choleric humor to go for distilled liquors. The pneumatic usually isn't big on alcohol, but they'll compromise with a wine cooler, but don't overdo it. And the sanguine will go for, for the more flavorful, like eggnog with dark rum or a hearty red wine. Again, just don't overdo it because that can interfere with digestion as well as your mood and ruin your next day and maybe your week. There are specific reasons for these preferences, but we're not gonna go into that now. Um, you have to take my course or read my book. And uh, so you can surprise your friends by guessing what their favorite drink might be, and that's a lot of fun. And you can also uh, keep your own uh, tendency towards particular alcoholic drink during the holidays in moderation if you know that you know that's just the way you go but you don't have to do it as for the holiday feasts it's best to choose ahead of time what are your favorite foods and make sure you put them on your plate and then just taste the others if you don't want a sore or sour stomach afterwards you have to keep uh, from loading up your plate with a whole lot of different uh, carbohydrates. So for instance, don't, uh, don't have a big scoop of potatoes and then the pasta dish and two rolls ahead of time. Um, so if you want to try everything, just, just take a little of each. And it's okay if you take a knife and cut just one piece of the pie, smaller than they would otherwise serve you, or half of a roll. It's okay. Somebody else will want a half a roll. But just be sure you don't use your hands uh, or or double dip. Just use a knife. And if if uh, you need to resist your eat, eating a second helping of your favorite food, do resist that because you will regret it. It's a big meal at the holidays, and you've just been through Thanksgiving. You may have a couple pounds you still need to lose by Christmas or uh, by Hanukkah. So. Be careful about overdoing it. Just enjoy every mouthful. Take your time. Taste it. Don't talk with your mouthful. Enjoy the food and then share how good it is or whatever the news is you want to share. And avoid eating within two or three hours after the main meal because it's going to take at least three to four, probably four to five hours to digest 
your uh, holiday meal. And don't snack on breads and crackers beforehand because they'll just mop up all your enzymes and digestive juices so you won't be ready for the sock of protein, the ham or the beans or the turkey that's coming in your special meal. So um, again, the different humors, the melancholic humor will tend to overdo the carbohydrates while the phlegmatics will probably go for mild cheeses and fruits and sweets. And the sanguine's gonna look for the spicy casseroles and cinnamon layered uh, pumpkin type taste and uh, the dark turkey meat or ham, while the cholerics are gonna load up on the white meat and the mild potatoes and your beef that's around and lots and lots of salt. And these different preferences are fine, but you don't wanna overdo them because they will exaggerate those different temperaments that each of those types tends towards. So the best way to balance your meal is to take a hearty serving of a salad to start with, and then in, that includes the radishes and onions because they help with the digestion, and then go choose, as I su suggested, from the uh, whatever it is, the smorgasbord or the family dishes that are going around the table. If all else fails, keep digestive enzymes and the supplemental stomach acid, betaine hydrochloride, on hand. Take them in your purse if you're going somewhere else uh, to have your holiday meal. Um, it, it, these together will stop sore and achy stomach quickly. And uh, they do it by getting the food digesting and stopping the fermentation process, which uh, if there's any, well, there's always a little yeast, but if there's too much, of the fermenting yeast in your gut, uh, all that carbohydrate is definitely gonna start fermentation. But the betaine hydrochloride will stop that quickly. And um, just one tablet, and if it doesn't stop within 15, 20 minutes, take the second tablet, but always take it with water or a little bit of food, like uh, you know, a couple almonds or something. So this allows you to totally avoid that vicious cycle of antacids. And the sad thing about antacids is they can give you immediate relief if you feel acids coming back up into your esophagus, but it perpetuates the problem because you need more acid to do the job on the meal, not less. So uh, that's a great thing um, when I'm traveling and having you know, strange meals here and there, I will definitely keep a little tiny um, jar or envelope of the betaine hydrochloride. And, and uh, if you just take that with some water before bed, if your tummy's bothering you, you'll sleep well, you'll wake up uh, ready to go with a good breakfast. And what I mean by a good breakfast is a small protein meal. It's really important to have some protein at breakfast to even out those hormones that are responding to your different humors, those four humors. So that's it for the holidays and enjoy and uh, your tummy will thank you for eating properly. Have a great holiday season and thanks for watching.